Masculinity is not something that a man is born with. It's something that's poured into a man through other men. And so there's definitely a place for women in men's life, 100%. But there are certain things that you can only get through a man. And for instance, you know, back 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 500 years ago, a young boy would be initiated into manhood through other men. And nowadays we have so many uninitiated men. They've never been initiated into manhood. Therefore, they never actually feel like a man. And so, you know, my wife's not going to inspire me into uh, greatness the same way that my father's going to inspire me into greatness. She doesn't have the same authority. And, you know, my wife's not going to inspire me to show up and be present at home the same way that my friends are inspiring me to show up and be present because they're doing the same thing. And so, you know, I think when you start to get around men who are dangerous, who are capable, who are confident, who are not hiding, who show up every day, it's inspiring. Science tells us that. There's tons of science around, hey, if you have a goal to lose weight and you partner with somebody else, the chances that your your chance at success is skyrocket rockets than if you do it yourself. So for me, it's always been find me. If you show me a group of guys who are unwilling to compromise, un, unwilling to back down, unwilling to to take the easy route, it, it's only a matter of time before their life is successful. It's only a matter of time. And so to me, that's the big deal. Is like you can't rely on your wife. You know, my so many men feel like their wife is their mom because they put their wife in that spot. They don't wake up on time. They don't take initiative. They, they don't follow through with what they're going to say they're going to do. And it's like, well, we should quit freaking blaming our wives for being frustrated with us when we don't do that. It's not my wife's job to do that. But here's the thing. If I get around other men who don't go easy on themselves, I'm not saying who emotionally beat themselves up, but who, who keep the standard high, I will naturally rise to that level. I will become what I hang around because, or I will leave the group completely because it's too painful to stay in the middle. And so I've just found that in my own life, man. I'm, I'm with, I've got a group of men that have raised the standard. And for the last three years, we've ran hard and they know when I'm coming, when I come home and my home is not full of peace, they know that I'm going to show up still. I'm not going to emotionally evacuate my home. I'm not going to check out. I'm going to show up. I'm going to bring peace to chaos. And they know when, you know, when, when I get lonely, I'm not just going to go to porn. I'm actually going to face my loneliness and I'm going to reach out if I need help. You know, these guys know that they can count on me to show up in my own life, not to be perfect, but to hold the standard. And I know they're doing the same thing. And honestly, when I come home and it's tough, and I know that I got my friends out there who are doing the same thing, facing the same things in business, facing the same things at home, facing the same things in our relationship. It honestly makes it easier. It makes it easier to show up because we're all doing this together.